from solar lights to picture frames and even tape. Today I'm sharing 10 Dollar Tree home hacks that you won't wanna miss. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Hey everyone, it's Sarah Jane with Chico the Cheap, and today the first thing that I want to talk about are solar lights. So every year at Dollar Tree we see solar lights, but this year we've seen some brand new ones, starting with these for your stairs. And you'll want to make sure to switch these on before you use them, and you'll notice that each light does come with an installation kit. Now, of course, it's up to you if you actually want to install these, but my recommendation, because the backs of these are flat, is to just set them out on the sides of your stairs like this. They still look professional and illuminate the stairs, but this way you can easily change the batteries when they stop working. And here's another option. You can also lean the backs of these against the stairs to switch the direction of the light. Just always make sure the solar panel is facing up so it gets plenty of sunlight during the day. And then my last tip with these is to use heavy duty outdoor command strips on the back so you can place these on a fence post or on the outside of your house without causing any damage. Okay, so I'm hearing a lot of you guys who are saying right now, but Sarah Jane, I can't find those stair solar lights in my local Dollar Tree. Well, friend, I've got your back with this little DIY solution. And all you need to do is grab a couple of the Dollar Tree's standard solar lights and some shower curtain rings, and then glue five or six of the rings together in a stack like this, and then just put the top of the solar light on top of the stack of shower curtain rings, and you've got the cutest little solar stair lights that are really inexpensive to make. Okay, so have you guys seen these flame glow solar lights at Dollar Tree? I think these are really cool. They have a flicker effect like the flame from a candle, but the one thing I've noticed is that the flicker effect seems to be a lot more apparent or brighter when I put the solar light inside a different container. So I just pop the solar light off of the stake. It's really easy to do. And in the past, I've showed you how you can glue a solar light to a mirror to put inside a lantern, but I've recently come up with a glueless option using a pool noodle. Yes, so what you'll want to do is cut a piece of the pool noodle off of the end like this, and then just stick the solar light in the top of the pool noodle and place that into your lantern. And that way, if you live in a really hot climate, you don't have to worry about your glue melting and your mini solar light stand falling apart. And here's what the solar light looks like inside of the lantern. And at least to me, the flicker effect appears brighter and stronger inside of the lantern. And you can also use this pool noodle hack with the Dollar Tree standard solar light. And keep in mind, if your lantern lantern has clear glass instead of frosted glass like mine, you can always paint the pool noodle to make it look a bit more chic. And don't be afraid to pop the top portion off of the flame glow solar light and place it on top of a container. I put it on top of this mason jar just to show you how cool this looks at night. It kind of reminds me of fireflies in a bottle. Okay, so this next hack involves envelopes. And I don't know about you guys, but the last thing that I want to do these days is lick an envelope closed just because of all the germs and the nasty virus that's going around. So one thing that I've been doing is using double-sided tape to close up envelopes to cards that I've been giving people. All you have to do is take a strip of the double-sided tape and place it down on the envelope like this and then close the flap and it's all sealed. Or if I'm mailing a letter and want a little more durability, this jumbo glue stick has been my go-to. It's awesome. You just apply the glue down the seam like this. I typically am a little heavy handed with it and you're good to go. And a new item I've spotted at Dollar Tree that I think is really cool are these mailing seals. You get 120 in a package. They work like stickers and the adhesive is really strong. You just place it on the outside flap of the envelope like this, but really whatever method you choose to close up your envelopes, I think we can all agree that they're all better than the old method. <laughs> okay, so speaking of germs and keeping them very far away, I did want to take a minute to thank the sponsor of today's video, Blue Land. Blue Land is a company that creates everyday cleaning products to save you money and space without any plastic waste. These cleaning products are truly game changing and all you have to do is take your bottle and fill it up to this line with warm or hot water and then take your cleaning tablet and then all you have to do is drop it in. It's going to dissolve and then in minutes you're ready to go. So no more single use plastics. These are your forever bottles. You keep these and just continue to refill them. I love that the cleaning tablets are really small. They virtually take up no space and all of the products are made without parabens, ammonia, or chlorine bleach. 
Everything smells really good. The products work extremely well. And probably my favorite out of everything is their foaming hand soap. I had heard such good things about it. And then when I got it, I loved it so much. It's the best hand soap I've ever used. It foams up so nicely. It's really luxurious and smells so good. So if you wanna give Blue Lane a try, I have a discount code for 20% off and they rarely do discount codes. So you can get one of their starter kits, which are already at a discount and then apply my 20% off code on top of that. All you have to do is just click on my link down in the description box below. All right, so moving on now to this next hack, which is for your dry erase markers. Dollar Tree carries a bunch in different colors, but all you need is a pom-pom. Just glue the pom-pom to the end of the marker like this, and it acts as an eraser and works so well. So have you guys seen these wall pocket hangers at Dollar Tree? They are meant to be hung on the wall, but if you take some of these magnetic buttons and glue them to the back, you can add this to your magnetic dry erase board to hold your marker, or put this on your refrigerator to hold your marker there, or extra pins. Okay, so I think most people know the picture frames at Dollar Tree can be hit or miss, but there's some brand new ones that I am loving, and it's these seven by seven square photo frames. They come in both black and white, and these make the best dupe for those expensive photo tiles that you probably see advertised all over your social media. Just pick up some photo paper. Dollar Tree does sell this pack, which will really help give your photo tiles a high-end look. Then print off your images, put them inside the frames, and then hang them up. And this can give you the same designer look at a fraction of the price. And don't forget about these magnetic photo frames. These are a Dollar Tree staple, and they make the best gift. I have a friend who is celebrating a birthday this week, so I printed off a photo of her dog and I put it in one of the frames and she can just stick this on her refrigerator and I know she'll love it. They're also, of course, great for using in your own home because you can easily switch out the photo that's on the inside. Maybe you want to show your kids which one is the favorite that week, who's done their chores, <laughs> who's been the best behaved. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um, I do really love these and I think they're wonderful. And especially with summer being in full swing right now, it's a great way to show off your summer memories. And speaking of summer, be sure to pick up some of these jumbo plastic clothespins. Not only are they great to use as bag clips, but they are awesome to use to keep your towel in place at the pool or at the beach. Just clip two at the top, and if it's a really windy day, you can even add two to the bottom, and that towel isn't going anywhere. These splash rings are always a fun item to pick up during the summer. Just inflate one and add a bowl to the middle to create a floating cooler for your drinks or grab a pizza pan or a large plate and set that on top of the ring to create a floating tray. Or maybe you're at the beach or at a picnic. This is the perfect way to make sure your food is elevated or off the ground away from sand or those pesky ants. And check this out. You can make a quick cooler using the Dollar Tree's mop bucket and this colander. It fits perfectly on top. Just add some ice and your drinks. And this is awesome because as the ice melts, the water is going directly into the bucket. And on a serious note, it's always a good idea to have a few emergency candles on hand during the summer. And if you're shopping at Dollar Tree, there's a few things you should know. And the first is that not all of their candles are made equally. I really like that the packaging on these LED candles tells you how many hours to expect from the battery inside of these, but don't rely on these for anything other than decoration. They just aren't bright enough to use in an emergency. Instead, opt for some of these emergency candles. You get two in a pack and these are bright enough to illuminate a small space. Plus they come with little stands that make them easy to place around the house and they aren't real candles, so they're great for kids. And did you know the Dollar Tree standard glass candles have a burn time of 80 hours? Now I haven't tested this out personally, but it says so right here on the website, but we may have to do some experimenting with this in the future. But overall, your best bet when it comes to emergency lighting at Dollar Tree is not a candle at all. It's their LED lights and flashlights in the tech section. My favorite is this work light. It's awesome. It's super bright. It stands up on its own. It has a handle and it has two light features. So if you see this in Dollar Tree, it's definitely worth $1.25. And I'm also a big fan of this lantern. It's super bright. It has handles that can be used to easily carry it around or hang it up. And it's another great lighting option in case of a power outage. 
And this last idea is just for fun. Dollar Tree sells these popsicle molds that you can use to make all kinds of frozen bars, but here's one you can easily make using Dollar Tree supplies. Just grab a pack of Jello. I found this pink Starburst one, and you just follow the directions on the box and then pour the mixture into the mold and freeze. Then in a few hours, they are ready to enjoy. And one tip that I've learned is to let the popsicles thaw for a while out on the counter before trying to remove them. I let my boyfriend do the taste test and he says they're really good. So definitely give this a try and tell me what you think. And yes, he is such a good sport. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's it for these Dollar Tree hacks. I hope you all enjoyed them. Let me know which hack was your favorite down in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And until my next video, I'll see you then.